Hey guys, so this is uh, just a quick video um, to show you how to set up the ASIC Blade Miner. Um, my setup is a little, little bit unusual because I don't have a normal router. I use my uh, cell phone tethering and, you know, Starbucks's uh, internet at home. Um, so, you know, it's a little tricky to set up the miner because it uses the old get work protocol, which isn't really supported by any of the pools. So you have to use like a proxy server on a local machine. Um, so this is getting its internet uh, from a Wi-Fi card and then it's using this router that's back here um, that's connected to the ethernet port on this little guy um, to the card. And uh, to wire it up, you can use a power supply from your computer. And uh, you can follow instructions online, but basically you need 10 amps, which is often more than most uh, typical gauge wires will carry. So you got to splice a couple together. I added in an extra 10 amp fuse, which is redundant. Uh, there's already one on the board, which I blew when I first started trying to wire it. But uh, I guess it worked when I just put that little auto fuse on there and then you're definitely going to want some fans around it it's pretty dangerous to have it on the wall here because it gets 130 degrees i checked with uh like a little heat gun yeah but it hasn't burned the house down yet um so it's okay for right now i'll move it but yeah basically um on the machine that you plug it into uh you need to find its configuration page which Oops, don't look at that. By default is 192.168.1.254 port 8000. And then you can set that up um, according to the instructions. But when I got my board, this page didn't show up. Um, and finally I figured out that they sent me a used board where someone had changed the IP. So to fix that, there are two pins that you short by, with like a paper clip or whatever you want, uh, pins two and three next to the ethernet port, and that will restore factory settings for your board. Um, and then you can plug it in, and assuming it has power and it turned on and the lights are flashing on the ethernet port, you can get to this config page. And uh, again, there are instructions on the internet um, with links and everything like that, but you can set up your server address to be the IP of the machine it's plugged into and turn on your the uh, mining what's it called the mining proxy server and uh, there we have it it's seems to be operational over 10 giga hash a second which is actually producing real money which is cool um, and yeah so it's uh, it's working. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.